Do you struggle with just grabbing food that isn't healthy? Maybe you run through the drive through or you guys just make pizza for dinner because you don't have anything planned out. Would you love some simple meal prep ideas? Are you wondering if you can meal prep like a pro and you really want to stick to your meal prep? Well, tune in as I go through my three ways to eat healthy when you're on the go. And these meal prep ideas are great if you are busy just like me. Hi friends, and welcome to the Healthy Beyond 40 show. I'm Michelle, mama of four, a military wife. I have my doctorate in physical therapy and I'm an online personal trainer, health coach, and yoga teacher. Do you wish that you had more energy and could get into shape? Do you feel like you're struggling to lose weight? Maybe you've tried a diet before, but it just wasn't sustainable, and now you don't know how to get started. We're gonna look at health holistically here, and most importantly, keep things simple and quick. If you're ready to develop healthier habits, exercise consistently, and lose weight sustainably without long workouts or following strict diets, then you're in the right place. In this podcast, I bring together my expertise with real life strategies. No magic pill here, so lace up those shoes and get moving. So let's dive right in it today. So before we get started, I want you to understand that when you meal prep, you're actually going to save yourself time and brain energy. Because when we don't have something planned, we're constantly thinking about what we're going to eat because we eat pretty frequently throughout the day. So if we can plan our food out, then we can release that mental energy that we're spending on it. And we also tend to eat from the emotional part of our brain when we don't have things planned. And we want to eat for pleasure because it feels good when we eat sugar or carbs or these other things that necessarily aren't great for us. But when we can plan our meals and give our body what it actually needs, we start to feel better and we start to eat in better alignment with what we actually need. So I want you to keep that in mind as we go through this today. And if you need a simple way to plan your meals, then check out my freebie. I have how to plan a month of meals in 30 minutes. And this has been a lifesaver for me. It really simplifies my meal planning and helps us eating healthy foods. So I'll share the link down below. So if you're struggling with meal planning, definitely check that out. So recently we went on a quick weekend, like mini vacation, but I prepped and planned my food before this trip. And not only did it help me to eat healthier and feel better, it also made the trip less stressful because I had that planned out. And that wasn't something we were having to think at every meal What are we going to eat, let alone what am I going to eat that's healthy? So before we went on this trip, I found a couple places that we could go out to eat that I knew would have healthy choices like salads or bowls. So I had those places picked out. So that really relieved just a lot of the mental stress of like, where are we going to go eat? But I also prepped some foods for breakfast that I could take and just warm up. So we were able to take a cooler with us. So I had that food prepped and then in the morning I could microwave it up and eat something healthy. So I was starting my day off right and that is really key. And then I also had some healthier snacks with me if I knew I was just going to need something quick like beef jerky. It's not my favorite thing to eat, but um, I feel better when I have protein, having some nuts. And I also have some bars with me. They're paleo bars made of nuts and seeds, and it has a little bit of honey in it. So I don't eat them too often, but I like having something like that with me when we are on the go and I feel like I need something because it is not fun to go on a vacation with a mom who is hangry. So really making sure that you have these snacks and these things so that you can eat healthy. So the first thing I want you to do when you're thinking of your meal planning is prep things ahead of time. And when you're thinking about your meal, I want you to break it down in parts. So what parts can you bulk cook on the weekend or at the beginning of the week? So maybe that's rice, quinoa. I like to mix those two together and make it an Instapot. Maybe having some sweet potatoes ready or butternut squash I like to have for breakfast, hard-boiled eggs or making smoothie bags. So when you are prepping these parts of a meal or parts of a snack, it can make it go a lot quicker and you already have that there. So if it's already prepped, you're going to be more likely to eat it than if you hadn't prepped it at all yet. So that's really important to do. 
The next thing I like to do is have ready to go snacks. So when you're thinking of snacks, first I want you to make sure that you're eating enough at meals so that you're not hungry constantly. Sometimes we're so rushed that we don't eat enough at a meal time and then it leaves us hungry two hours later. Also on this other side, if you're not eating the right foods and balancing your blood sugar, which it means avoiding that high spike, think of sugar when somebody eats candy and then that low that comes after from eating that high sugar, we sort of get on that blood sugar roller coaster. So we want to make sure that we're also eating well to balance our blood sugar. And I go into this a lot in my nutrition and group coaching course. So if you want more info on that, check out um, down below. So some snacks that I like to have ready to go is nuts and seeds. And we can add things like dried fruit, but we really want to make sure that we're not doing too much dried fruit. So if you can, just putting a mix of nuts and seeds together and having that ready to go. Um, having hard-boiled eggs ready. Having carrots or celery already chopped up and pairing that maybe with some peanut butter or nut butter. Having apples in your house and having that peanut butter or nut butter with them can be some really great healthy snacks and they're easy to grab. But you just have to make sure that you have them ready. So really planning out if you're going to do that on the weekend, are you going to do that at the beginning of the week? Just really having a system in place so that you can have these healthy things ready to go and grab because that's why we like the processed food and the packaged food or we just grab a granola bar is because it's already made. So to eat healthy, we might have to spend a little bit of time, but if you can prep these things, they're almost ready to go just like you could grab that granola bar. Well, now you can grab this chopped up celery and peanut butter and go eat that. Or you can grab your nut and seed mix that you put together and eat that because you have it ready or ready. Ready or ready. That's funny. All right. So number three is I want to talk specifically about traveling or for those people who spend a lot of time in a car. And this is a topic I talk through with my clients. So one of my clients was really struggling because they would travel and they didn't know what to eat was healthy. They weren't planning things out. So we worked through this and after a couple of times, they were able to one, find those healthy places they could stop to eat when they were traveling so that they weren't grabbing McDonald's and unhealthy food that they really didn't want to eat. They had a plan in place of where they could stop, that they could get some healthy foods and they had some healthy foods picked out. And the other piece with this is knowing those healthy restaurants, but also having some snacks and food ready just like I was talking a little bit with these snacks. So having some nuts and seeds that you can eat in a car, maybe taking some carrots and celery in the car with you to eat so that you're having these healthy snacks. A snack that my husband loves to eat when we're on car rides is the shelled sunflower seeds. So he, you know, it comes in the shell, so he chews it and then he eats the seed that's inside and spits out the shell. But also my one son was eating the shell too. And I guess his digestive system did okay. So I personally have not had those, but those can be sort of fun when you have a shell or something longer to eat. Sometimes that can be nice when you're in the car. Also, when you travel, you can make a salad to take with you. Take a small cooler with and prep that salad so it's good. Have something to put your salad dressing on so the salad doesn't get soggy. Another thing I like to do when we're traveling is to make a smoothie ahead of time so I can make it the night before and stick it in the freezer. So it's in the cup. Do not put the straw on it yet. If you do, you'll learn why. That will be frozen in it and you can't drink from it. And then what you're going to do is just in the morning, you can take that frozen smoothie with you. And usually in two or three hours, it starts to thaw out and then you can eat it and you have this with you. So that little bit of prep time the night before can really save you and make it so easy. I mean, it's so nice to grab something healthy when we already have it made. So I just want to go over those. So remember, even though it's going to take time and energy to meal prep things, it's going to actually save us time. It's going to save us brain energy. And we're just going to feel better and feel more confident when we have a plan in place. So remember to prep those parts of your meal ahead of time. 
so that you have those pieces already ready and when you go to make a meal, it's gonna be quick to grab. Have some ready to go snacks. So just like you want to grab that granola bar because it's easy, take the time to make some ready to go snacks like nuts and seeds, hard boiled eggs, carrots or celery or apple with peanut butter. And when you're traveling, I want you to pick out those restaurants that you know you can eat healthy at and also have some different snacks or meal. Take a cooler, take something with you, take that time to prep so you have that healthy stuff with you. And then it's going to feel good and feel easy and you can enjoy your vacation, your trip, or whatever it is. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. I hope you found at least one tip that you can take away so you can start meal prepping and meal planning and figure these pieces out, especially when you're busy and when you're on the go and you need a quick idea. So hope you guys enjoy this and have a great day. Friends, I hope this episode empowered and inspired you to take one more step forward in your health. The number one way you can thank me is to just leave a quick review. Not only does this help the podcast to grow, but I love hearing the positive impact this show has had in your life. Our world doesn't make it easy to be healthy, so having the right community around you is key. So join my free private Facebook group. The link is down below. Change is hard, but believe me, my friend, with the right tools and support, you can do this.